how to find the domain of a function. Firstly, let me teach you the basic concept of a domain. Let's consider this key and lock. We use this key in order to open this lock. Similarly, domain is like a key and function is like a lock. We use a domain in order to open any function. For example, consider this function. Let the value of x is 2. I plug in this value of x in this function. I write 6 upon 2. After calculation, I get 3. Hence this value x is equal to 2 is the domain of this function. f of x is equal to 6 upon x. Because these two solve are open this function. Secondly, let I take the value of x is equal to 0. I plug in the value of x is equal to 0 in this function. I write 6 upon 0. We know that it is undefined. Hence this value x is equal to 0 is not the domain of this function because it cannot define or open this function. Now let consider this function. I take the value of x is equal to 4. After calculation, I get 2. Hence 4 is the domain of this function. Secondly, let I take x is equal to negative 1. After calculation, I get square root minus 1 or iota i, which is imaginary number. Hence minus 1 is not the domain of this function because we get imaginary number. Therefore, remember that domain is the input value that define or open any function. If you get undefined value or imaginary value, then it is not the domain of any function. Now let me teach you that how can we find the domain of any function. Well, consider these first type questions of only polynomials. f of x is equal to 4x plus 1. Let I take two values of x like x is equal to 2 and x is equal to negative 1. I plug in x is equal to 2 and this polynomial. I write 4 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 9. Hence x is equal to 2 is the domain of this function. Because function is defined, it x is equal to 2. Secondly, I plug in x is equal to minus 1 in this function. I write 4 into negative 1 plus 1, I get negative 3. Hence x is equal to negative 1 is the domain of this function. Because function is defined, it x is equal to negative 1. From these two results, we conclude that we can put any value of a domain in this function and it is defined. Hence I draw here a number line. We know that at this side of the number line is negative infinity and at this side of the number line is positive infinity. Now listen carefully. The values of domain are present in between these infinities. Let me repeat it. The values of domain are present in between these infinities. So the domain of this function is parenthesis negative infinity comma positive infinity parenthesis. Or we can also write the domain of this function is all real numbers. Therefore note it down that if there is a simple polynomial its domain will always be the set of all real numbers. Now let me teach you the second type of problems which we call only fractions. For example, f of x is equal to 3x plus 6 upon x squared plus 3x plus 2. Here, in this case, the denominator should not be equal to 0 because the function will be then undefined. We can see that the denominator of this function is x squared plus 3x plus 2 and it must not be equal to 0. Now I will solve this using factorization method. 2 into this one is equal to 2. We know that 2 into 1 is equal to 2. Here 2 plus 2 is equal to 3. Hence I write x plus 2 and 2 x plus 1 is not equal to 0. We get either x is not equal to minus 2 or x is not equal to minus 1. Here, I always ask one important question which a lot of people are not understanding. What this negative 2 and this negative 1 mean? 
Can you guess the answer? Well, this negative 1 and this negative 2 means that the values of x should not be negative 1 and negative 2. Let me repeat it. The values of x should not be negative 1 and negative 2. I mean, if we take negative 1 and negative 2, the denominator will become 0 and then the function will be undefined. Therefore, I draw this number line. This is negative 2 and this is negative 1. This is one region, this is the second region, and this is the third region. I write the domain which is negative infinity up to negative 2, union, then negative 2 up to negative 1, union, negative 1 up to positive infinity. Or we can also write the domain of this function is the set of all real numbers except x must not be equal to negative 1 and negative 2. Let's note it down this important type. The third type of problems are square root on bottom. For example, consider this function. In such type of functions, the radicant should be greater than 0. We can see that the radicant is x plus 3 and it must be greater than 0. If I ask you why radicant should be greater than 0, can you guess the answer? Well, it is because if x plus 3 becomes 0, the denominator becomes 0 and function is undefined. Secondly, if x plus 3 becomes negative, the square root of a negative number is imaginary number and function is again undefined. We therefore say that radicant should be greater than 0. Here, x plus 3 is greater than 0. I shift plus 3 from left hand side to the right hand side. I get x is greater than negative 3. Now I draw this number line and I place here negative 3. We already know that we cannot take negative values. So I cancel this region. We only select this region. Hence the domain is from negative 3 up to positive infinity. Or the domain is the set of all real numbers except x should be greater than negative 3. Hence note it down. The fourth type is square root on top. For example, consider this function. We have already learned that in case of fraction, the denominator should not be equal to 0. So I write x squared plus 4 should not be equal to 0. Secondly, the radicant in the numerator x minus 1 should be greater than or equal to 0. Now x squared plus 4 is not equal to 0 or x plus 2 and to x minus 2 is not equal to 0. I get x is not equal to negative 2 or x is not equal to positive 2. On the other hand, x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 or x is greater than or equal to positive 1. Thus we get three possible values of x. Now I draw a number line. I place all the possible values of x, minus 2, 1 and 2. Now listen carefully. This statement, x should be greater than or equal to 1 means that we have to select only this region. Let me repeat it. This statement, x should be greater than or equal to 1 means that we have to select only this region. Remember that 1 is also included in this region. I put dot on 1. Hence this is the region of my domain including 1. I cancel this region. So I write the domain is square bracket 1 comma 2 parenthesis union parenthesis 2 comma positive infinity parenthesis. Remember that this bracket means that 1 is also included. Hence note it down this important type. The last type is only square root problems. Consider this difficult question. We know that in such type of questions, the radicant should be either greater than 0 or equal to 0. The radicant is x squared minus x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 0. Now 12 into 1 is equal to 12. We know that 4 into 3 is also equal to 12. So I write 
x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 12 is greater than or equal to 0. After factorization, I get x is equal to 4 and x is equal to negative 3. Now I draw a number line. Let this is the position of negative 3 and this is the position of 4 on the number line. We can see that we get 3 regions on number line. Let this is A region, B region and C region. Here I am interested to find the possible values of x in these regions. This A region begins from 4. Let x is equal to 5 in the A region. Now 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Both the values are positive. Hence the possible values of x is positive in the A region. Secondly, the B region is between minus 3 and 4. Let here x is equal to 1 in the B region. Now 1 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. We know that minus 3 into 4 is equal to negative 12. Hence the values of x will be negative in the B region. Thirdly, the C region starts from negative 3. Let x is equal to minus 5 in the C region. Now minus 5 minus 4 is equal to minus 9. And minus 5 plus 3 is equal to minus 2. We know that minus 9 and to minus 2 is equal to plus 18. Hence the values of x will be positive in the C region. Now listen carefully. We cannot put any negative number in this square root. Let me repeat it. We cannot put any negative number or any negative value in this square root. So we ignore this negative region or this B region of the number line because it contains negative values. Therefore, the possible values of x are domain is in the A region and in the C region. I write parenthesis negative infinity negative 3 square bracket because minus 3 is also included. Union square bracket 4 because 4 is also included plus positive infinity. Hence this is the domain of this function. Therefore, using this method, we can find the domain of any function. I hope that you have learned all these examples.